Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Jim Oberlander. A lot of you have already uh, started calling me coach, and I just want to say welcome to your final semester of nursing school. Um, I'm going to be teaching professional nursing competency this semester, which is a combination of NCLEX preparation, life preparation, um, and moving towards the real world, uh, if you will, once you graduate. I uh, just want to do a quick intro. You've been dealing with Blackboard for years at this point, so I'm not going to um, spend a lot of time. You also may or may not remember how my courses are typically set up, but the main items are down the left-hand side and um, all of the elements that you can uh, locate within those are relevant to those topics. So the Start Here page is really important. Um, there's some very key items, announcements, overview, and uh, some videos to get you your juices, NCLEX juices flowing a little bit. Um, and if you're watching this video, it's on the uh, Start Here page. There's Meet Your Instructor and Tutors. So it's my intro and Bonnie Nelson's intro, uh, office hours. I've set up office hours a little bit differently since you had me in uh, BSN 2s. At this point, you're in control of when you want to meet with me. I've decided that I'm going to do my office hours virtually, but I'm going to do it virtually at any time that you're able. So granted, probably not four in the morning, but um, you set up the date and time. Um, if you really want to meet with me in person, We'll try and work that out, but I'm not on campus a ton, um, typically some Mondays and then Fridays, which if you want to stick around after class, we can definitely meet in person, but most of them will be virtual, but you just email me, hey, do you have time Tuesday afternoon or Thursday afternoon anytime, and then I'll get back with you and we can set up uh, our Zoom meeting that way. Syllabus is located right here which actually, now that I think about it, even while I'm doing this video, I'm going to update that. Do, 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 do. And there we go. So that is the most updated as of Saturday night. Um, and a link to your student handbook. It's very, very important that you review the syllabus page by page, line by line. There's a lot of different policies that you need to be aware of, um, ex exam policies, course policies, attendance policies. There's been some pretty major uh, changes in the course of the last couple of semesters involving um, trying to just Im implement some consistent, more consistency across the curriculum with remediation processes, exam processes, attendance policies, that kind of thing. Um, expectations, you can take a look at that. You know where the, you can, I just encourage you to look through each of these items along the left-hand side. Again, many of them you've seen in previous classes, um, but I want to jump into a couple of these course content areas exam soft nurse think and cjes there are three uh, items here that are going to be necessary for you to uh, possibly get access to so obviously the exemplify and then your cj exam report which is going to be we're going to be doing a readiness exam benchmark um, a couple times this semester just to uh, see where you are in your preparation level for the nclex and then if you have issues, tech support uh, information's right there. Um, the rest of that we're going to cover during class. And then just to jump into the weekly content a little bit, uh, some of these items you may not have access to because I've got them hidden. But um, essentially, this is where the course starts. Please keep the content in this course in this course. Uh, if you share them with other cohorts, then they miss out on the benefit of their own growth across the process. So uh, trust the process. Trust me as, as I've set up this course, I've designed this course very specifically to work from week one to week 15, and then even beyond that. 
medical dictionary if you're struggling with terminology there's access to a medical dictionary there and then just to kind of give you an overview when you look at these learning modules i've got an overview of what's going to be located within them i do have a notation here that module assignment due dates i will try to be flexible and i will extend all due dates to week three so that you can get the necessary resources after that starting with the fourth friday um anything at that point is going to be go under the late policy uh that's located in the syllabus which you have two weeks to turn it in for half credit um and after that it's a zero it still needs to be turned in turned in at some point during the semester whether you get credit for it or not at that point all assignments are needing to be completed so it just gives an overview of the different elements that are going to take place within that module when you go into the module like the first module there is some items that need to be completed prior to the first class so you can click on that and just a couple of items there nothing too strenuous at this point um, and then assignments reading i do want to draw specific attention to this there will be quizzes there'll be five quizzes across the semester in addition to the four exams so there's gonna be a quiz almost every other week every third week uh, across the semester and it's based on the readings you're going to have about two to three pages a day is the expectation for reading 21 pages a week something along those lines and then you're going to have exam questions quit not exam sorry quiz questions specifically over those weeks of reading so for the second week there's a quiz one which is going to cover week one and week two of reading um, it is necessary that you have the resources, which is why I sent out the resources through BSN 3 uh, a few weeks before the end of the semester. So you've had plenty of time to get those mandatory resources, which is what I had Dawn communicate with everybody through her class. And um, you all received that email from her. So there's some information there. Um, now, the information in the HESI book is similar to that in the Nurse Think book. So if you have one, if you don't have the HESI book yet, then you can at least get weeks one's worth of reading uh, done through the Nurse Think resources, uh, which is located on their website, um, clinical and in the book resource concept clinical cases, uh, the first 35 pages there. After that, it's going to be the HESI book you you are going to need the HESI book in order to know what content is being covered in order to take those quizzes successfully throughout the semester. Um, we'll talk about a lot of this stuff in class. There is a PowerPoint. It's only 18, 20 slides long, but I'll be going over that the first week. And I think that pretty much covers the first week. The second week starts to get into little more of the nitty gritty. Um, again, we're gonna cover a lot of the details within these modules during class. Again, there's your reading. You got a communication survey week two, you got some Evolve homework. If you don't have the Evolve book, uh, then again, you can push that due date to week three. Week, but week after, actually, technically after week three, it's gonna be late. Um, and then some CJ Sims, we'll talk about those during the first couple of weeks so that you know what to do with that. And there will be the first quiz uh, week two over the HESI readings. So that's that's kind of how it's set up. I've got the due dates all situated in Blackboard to the best of my knowledge, but the syllabus is the contract. So make sure you're printing that, having that with you. Um, so that you can go through and make sure that all the elements um, that are due are being submitted on time. The due time of all assignment, almost all assignments throughout the semester is 8 a.m. on the Friday of class. 
that way you're not working like I, I, the due time is very specific so that it's not a distraction during um the first class you have during the day so all of your assignments the due date and time is the friday of class at 8 a.m needs to be uploaded to blackboard um and that's really kind of the overview that i wanted to touch on make sure you look at the syllabus make sure you walk through the elements uh, each of these folders along the left hand side and take a look at the first couple weeks of your weekly modules so that you're aware of what's going on in the course and what's coming up. All right, so that's all I have. Have a great weekend and a great week, and I'll see you on Friday in class uh, in the afternoon. Adios.